Hi, Ken D'Alessandro with Remax Central. Uh, today, I'd like to discuss distressed properties. They've been in all over the news lately, and uh, a lot of people ask me, what is a distressed property? A distressed property uh, can be defined as one that's in poor physical condition, is or soon will be in some kind of, some stage of foreclosure, Oh, it's owned by person or persons, experience financial difficulty, and its mortgage is higher than the current market value. Any or all of these conditions can result in a short sale. A short sale occurs when the homeowner's mortgage company accepts less than what is currently owed. The buyer closes on the property, and this is considered sold short. This sounds easy enough, however, this is an involved process that takes time, patience, good communication skills, and organization. Short sales have benefits, yes benefits, for the homeowner or investor buying distressed properties. Now, the criteria for a short sale. A homeowner must have a specific financial hardship that makes it impossible to pay down the mortgage. What is an acceptable hardship? Examples are loss of job, business failure, reduced income, uh, payment increases, divorce, or medical issues. A short sale is not a way just to get out of a mortgage. It is a tool for homeowners to use when they truly cannot afford to pay their mortgage any longer. If the homeowner says they do not need to sell, they just want to sell, it is not a short sale hardship. It's an unhappy homeowner. If you have any questions about a short sale, either as a homeowner or investor looking to purchase a distressed property, contact us and we'll get you the answers that you could be looking for. Ken D'Alessandro, Remax Central. Thank you.